BMX is, uh, to me, the greatest sport in the world. I, um, I love how fast and exciting it is. And being an individual sport, every single achievement you make or every step in the right direction you take, it, it's all on you. Every bit, every bit is you, you know, like, I mean, you have support from coaches and whoever else is involved, but I mean, like, everything you win, like, it's 100% you. It's not a whole team of players. So, you know, I love that pride of, you know, like, getting something and earning, you know, when you win a national title, it's, it's you who won it, you know. Tell us in 30 seconds or so about how this season's been for you. This season has been amazing. It's been a really good start. It's now my third year in the elite category and um, and I've come into this year with so much more focus and just feeling so pumped and amped to race and I feel like I'm finally, you know, mixing it with the big boys. I know that I'm I'm one of them now, you know, I don't look up to them anymore like I used to. I'm now one of them. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited to get this year underway and now with the national series, um, I've been leading the series and feeling really good. I won a couple back-to-back -back rounds and um, and heading over. To, I've gone over to Manchester as well and got some pretty good results overseas. So I'm keen to get over to the World Championships this year. And um, I think with this new drive and this new excitement, I'm keen as to get over and you know get some good results. <laughs> um, what about over the past year? Tell, tell us what you've achieved in the last year. The last year has been huge. Again, you know, like. Um, those first and second years in the elite category just kind of experience you know you, up there with guys that you used to look up to so it's just it's it's overwhelming to be up there on the gate with them and that's kind of something mentally I had to get over I um I was seeing a psych I was seeing you know everything because I'm I'm there on the gate going oh, I'm next to like Sam Willoughby or Anthony Dean it's like no like they're next to me I'm the one on the gate I'm, I'm the one that needs to win this race so I think that's where in the last year I've I've improved so much mentally, and um, and that's where coming into this year, you know, I feel confident and and a lot, you know, a lot more. My mindset's so much stronger. All right. Well, let's talk about um, expectations and and what do you expect from this national championships? Who's going to be the hardest to beat, and and why? I I'm expecting my expectations are always pretty high. I always put a lot of pressure on myself. Um, and especially this year, you know, I'm feeling good and that mental mindset. You know, I'm I'm pretty much telling myself I'm the best on the day, you know, so, I mean, we've got competition like Sam Willoughby's over from America, he's always here to race the Nationals, as well as Anthony Dean, locals, Josh, Corey, so, you know, there's, there's a big field in Elite and there's a lot of guys at my tail, so, um, I know that, you know, Saturday's going to be a big day and I want to get out there and go as hard as I can and, you know, anything is possible, but I'm, I'm definitely, I'm confident that I can get out there and mix it with the boys and I, um, yeah, I want to get that number one. I know I can do it, so, yeah. That was all right. That was all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what or who um, have been the biggest influences on you personally and, and as, a, as an athlete? Uh, the biggest influences for me, um, you know, as a person or as an athlete, it's I take advice from everyone and anyone. Um, everyone's got, you know... Everyone's got two cents, and I try to take two cents from everyone because in the end, you know, I'm going to have a hundred bucks. But um, I just, I, you know, everyone's got something good to say. I always, I always listen to everyone. Every dad's got something to say in the field. Every kid's got something to say, you know. So um, I'm just, I take it all in and, and try to keep everything positive and, um, and keep a good positive group in my circle. And, you know, I got my coach, Wade Boots, my gym trainer, Deb, and then the whole, the whole team that we train, like Sam and, Anthony, you know, if everyone's positive and, and got a good kind of confidence about him, then, you know, I'll, I'll invite him into my circle and that's what helps me, gives me the drive, you know. Uh, I'm a pretty positive person and that's, that's the main thing that keeps me going, you know, just stay positive and 100% and everything will be good. Okay, and what about in your career? What's been, um, you know, you, the, the turning point, I guess, you said that you, you came up from the juniors and it took a couple of years. Is there a particular moment where you went, you know what, oh, Buddy Turner belongs here? I think that that's happened this year, you know, like those those first two years, it was, I kept trying to tell myself like, Bodhi's here, Bodhi's here, this is how we're going to do it, but every time I just got scared, you know, but um, but I think this year I'm coming in just with that new focus and that new attitude, I'm just, I feel so pumped and keen to get out there and every race I'm excited, I'm not scared, you know, I'm on the gate going, yes, like, I know you can do this, like, and I'm believing in myself, I'm not just telling myself, so, um, yeah, that's... Okay, what 
what makes Bodhi turn a tick? What what excites you? I know you've talked about positivity and positive people and that sort of thing. What what gets you going? What make, makes you get up in the morning and and, and hurt yourself in training? <laughs> I um, I'm so yeah. Positivity is a big thing, but um, I'm a I love music. I listen to music flat out. I listen to every type of music there is. Like, I mean, you see everything from like screamo to like dance music and and that music has such a big influence on me and my training and um and i think the biggest thing for me is just you know, keeping a smile and a happy face and um and that kind of rubs off in the room and if you've got if you've got that positivity in the room everyone's going to train good everyone's going to feel good and the biggest thing for me is feeling good and if you feel confident then you're going to put the best into your training which is going to reflect on your your racing and your results so yeah the biggest thing is positivity for sure um, and finally, um, the Olympics is less than a year and a half away. Um, I would imagine you dream about it and you think about <laughs> it um, every day. How important is making that team for Rio and, and how focused are you on it? Oh, my God, it's, it's incredible. It's overwhelming to think that it's a reality now rather than a dream. You know, this whole time I've just been going, oh, Olympics, Olympics, 216, let's see if we can do it. Now it's like, oh, I'm in qualifying ranking. I'm in the running. I'm possibly after this weekend could be in second position. It's just like, it's crazy to think. But then you got to bring yourself down. You got to bring yourself back to earth and be like, all right, take each race at a, at a time. Think about the process. Don't think about the outcome. Like if you think about the outcome too much, you just get mixed up in it. So um, it definitely is, you know, in the back of my head every single day, every single minute of the day, it's like Olympics, Olympics, Olympics. But um, I just go into every single session, give them 100%, and I know that if I'm giving 100% in everything, then that's going to get me up there in the Olympic team. But um, but yeah, we just wait and see. It's a long, it's still a long journey, even though it's only a year and a half. It's still a long journey, and a lot of races between now and then. So yeah, we'll see how we go. But fingers crossed. So it's it's more than just a bike race to you. It's this is the culmination of a dream. Oh my God, this is this is everything. I mean, this is my life. This is what I live for. I've been riding bikes since I was four, and now. To be able to ride my kids' bike in the Olympic Games with you know alongside the best in the world and and be televised across the world is just you know Olympics is something you watch for, as a kid and go that's cool and now it's a reality to be a part of it so yeah I'm super pumped I'm so excited.